Attaching the pom-pom with loom. What you'll need is scissors, some thread that you want to attach your pom-pom with, a tapestry needle, and your pom-poms. So there are two ways of attaching the pom-pom. I'll go over method one, which is something that we use here often. So method one is basically connecting your pom-pom through the center cord or the, the middle knot there that you've tied. Cut the thread or yarn that you want to attach your pom-pom to, and this can be um, yarn or something you know thin like this. I don't recommend using something thicker than two millimeter, and that's probably like a paracord or something like that. So basically, what you wanna do is you wanna take your pom-pom, gently hold it, and gently poke it. And once you poke it, you're gonna actually come across your tight middle cord or middle knot that you tied around your pom-pom pretty quickly. So I see this right now, and this cord is being tied this way. So what you wanna do is take your needle and thread it under your tight middle cord. And there you have it. So now it's pulling against the cord rather than the yarn in the pom-pom. And if you want to attach this to a hat or a purse, you would just tie it on the other side. If you want to attach it to another pom-pom, another way you could do it is just go approach in the same way. And once you tighten your cord, actually, like this, so let's pretend we're just maybe attaching, we want to attach two pom-poms together it'll naturally pull together like this. And then you'll just make your tight double or triple knot um, and your pom-pom will stay together or it'll stay um, with the cord that you tied it to. Another way of doing this is, we call it method two, and it's, it's attaching it through the center. And we would only do this usually for garlands or something that you um, won't be touched that much or you know it'll stay as decoration to something. So kind of similar technique, you um, thread your needle, your tapestry needle, poke your pom-pom gently. And what you wanna do here is find the direction that your tight middle knot is going. So here's my tight middle knot. And I could tell already by just moving the yarn that the tight middle cord is actually tying it in this direction. So you want to insert your thread in the opposite direction so that it doesn't hit that cord. So now I'm gonna repeat with another pom-pom. So again, poking it gently, moving the yarn to see which direction that tight middle cord is going so this is going this way so then I will insert the thread this way so in this way this moves more like a garland so that's how the differences of method one and method two of attaching your pom-pom